Queen Amara and the Power of Kindness. Once upon a time, in a far-off kingdom, there lived a kind and gentle queen named Amara. She ruled her kingdom with love and compassion, and all her subjects adored her. But one day, the queen received a report that a wicked witch had cast a spell on the kingdom, causing all the people to become selfish and unkind. Queen Amara was very worried, for she knew that without kindness and love, her kingdom would be a sad place indeed. So she decided to go on a journey to find the witch and ask her to reverse the spell. The queen traveled far and wide and at last she came to a dark forest. There she found the witch's lair, a large and gloomy castle. The witch was known for her evil ways and was feared by all. Queen Amara approached the witch's castle and the witch came out to meet her. The witch was tall and thin with a face as wrinkled as an old apple. What brings you here, Queen Amara? asked the witch. I have come to ask you to reverse the spell you have cast on my kingdom, replied the queen. I've cast no spell, said the witch. It's the lack of kindness in your subject that has caused the kingdom to become selfish and unkind. Queen Amara was shocked to hear this, but the witch went on explaining that when people are not kind and loving to one another, it creates an aura of negativity that spreads like a contagious disease. The queen realized that the witch was right and that the solution to her kingdom's problem lay not in finding a cure, but in spreading kindness wherever she went. And so she thanked the witch for her wisdom and set off back to her kingdom. As Queen Amara traveled, she started to do small acts of kindness wherever she went. She helped an old man cross the road, gave food to a hungry family, and even helped a little girl with her lost kitten. Everywhere she went, she spread happiness and love, and soon her kingdom began to change. The people of the kingdom started to become kind and loving to one another. They helped their neighbors, shared their food, and looked out for each other. The negativity that had once filled the kingdom was replaced by an aura of kindness and love, and the kingdom became a happy place once again. And so, Queen Amara learned that kindness is the key to happiness, not just for herself but for everyone around her. She continued to spread love and kindness wherever she went and her kingdom flourished. And that, children, is the story of how Queen Amara taught the people of her kingdom the importance of being kind. And so, always remember to be kind to others, for it will bring happiness and love to both you and those around you. And now, it's time for you to close your eyes and go to sleep. Sweet dreams.